21 years old Marine hasn't been on a plane for months. Are you afraid to fly? Yes. To what extent? To the point of crying. If I could scream and run away, I would do it. That's the extent. It's becoming unbearable. I can't even control myself. Yeah. Marine? Yes. Hello, this is Philippe Goyeri from the Center Anti-Stress. Are you here to test the plane? Yes. Hello, Vincent. Philippe Goyeri. We talked. To try to cure their fear of flying, Marine and Vincent came to take an anti-stress course with Philip, who is both a steward and a psychologist. We've reserved the front row for you. He will not be the only speaker today. Here is Didier, your pilot. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like us to share the reasons why we are meeting again. What is stressing you out? What are you worried about? Turbulences. Turbulences. Anything else? Any noise, any sound. The noise. That means that you are spontaneously on alert, on the watch? Yes. Okay. Even the engine, if I'm to hear. I'll try to listen if it is operational. If it doesn't work. You are surely a mechanic. No. No? For airlines like Air France, there is a commercial duty behind these classes. You are not alone. According to a study, the loss of profits linked to passengers who don't want to fly would be roughly one and a half billion euros per year. What's important with breathing is that it tells us about our stress level. I feel that I am terrified. To help them overcome their stress, Philip will teach Marine and Vincent to relax. Go on. I inhale. I fill up. Exercises that are part of the training of pilots and flight crews. Are you all right? Yes. Next is Didier, captain on the Airbus A320, to have the floor. He's going to explain to them how a flight takes place. We're going to put the engine back on and increase the attitude. Generally, in a normal flight, we take off. What if we take off in the opposite direction? We make a turn at 5,000 feet. With a very silly diagram, he describes the various phases for them. Ascend, level, descend. Then go down, level, then turn. And the often deceptive feelings that go with it for a passenger. In terms of sensations, once you've taken off 1,500 feet, we reduce, 3,000 feet we take the shutters in, the plane does this. Then, stop, here, sensations. No more engines. Once there, full engine to go up, it starts again. You feel that, something is going on. The sensation once again kicks in. We turn off the engines, we're dead. We have a stop without knowing why, we dive, what do the two big heavyweights up front do? We're all going to fall, you saw the captain's face, he looks good, so it's going to be fine. A flight without these sensations does not exist. It's only so on paper. Immediate demonstration. Here's the machine. Labate, as it is called, is a 20 million euro flight simulator where pilots train. Assess your bearings in the simulator, breathe well, you can see that it's quite wide though. Marine, breathe properly in front. Yes. yes. One after the other, Marine and Vincent will take their seats on the co pilot's seat. So, that you feel just about every sensation. I am frightened. It's normal. That's why you're here. You ought to be afraid. It's impressive. Are you okay with that? Now you will experience the strongest sensations. Even in a simulator, takeoff is a challenge for the two interns. It's not pleasant. I am checking the settings. Now, all is good. I am purposely increasing the range of my feet so you can feel it. Look in front. We're getting to 100 knots. We check the anemometers. V1. I pull and when rising, I bring the joystick back. Okay, 
Vincent? Vincent. Voilà. It's, it's normal. normal. All planes that take off do that. On we wait 3,300 feet to bring in the shutters. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard. I'm slowing down. Follow my feet. I'm reversing. I deliberately turned right left to get you to feel. Okay. And then I brake. I'm braking a little hard to show you. You're going to change seats. Now, we're going to carry out a little exercise. The weather is not very good today. We're going to turn on the turbulence, maximum ventral breathing. Go on, Estelle. Take a good look, we have an engine problem. Just one pilot, the other died next door, he had a heart attack, so we have a single pilot, okay. I'm flying without my hands and we're in turbulences. There's nothing pleasant about it, but nothing dramatic. The problem, is that for coffee, it's not bad. We agree. The aim of this training is prove to passengers that they are in good hands and that these turbulences which they are so rattled about are very common for pilots. How did it go? Good. good. Yes, good. Impressive at first, then it was fine after. We relax time as we go. There is a short period to adjust. Do you feel you're on a real plane? Yes. Anxiety at first, we feel the same anxiety as that in a plane. It's the same. I think it was successful. Are you feeling better? Yes. According to Air France, these preparatory courses will help nine passengers out of ten. Reassuring oneself has a price, around 600 euros per day. <laughs>